Okay, <clears throat> so with a number of uh, units, libraries, class types, and that, I really can't keep, I, I can't manually test everything that's going to be a part of this. So what I'm obviously going to require are some two things. First of all, I need tests, like unit tests to actually test like each, like to test specifically the logging capabilities, developer console, uh, command string runner, so on and so forth, within reason. Uh, it should also help me uh, be able to build up confidence. I'm actually testing all the code, I'm, or at least the majority of code that I am writing through code coverage. And then, of course, I need something that will, when I push, like a continuous integration system, that when I push to the repository, it tests not only on the environment that I have here, Arch Linux, but it also tests like for, you know, a couple of other distributions for Linux, tests on Windows, built-in tests on Windows, and the same thing on Mac OS. So, <clears throat> first thing is, before I can even do to continuous integration or yeah, just continuous integration. I need to actually have tests to be able to run. I mean, I can compile, but I can't. There's, there's very little point just seeing that it builds. I mean, since I'm just using pl standard plain C++, I'm pretty sure it's going to build. But what's really interesting is, is it logically going to run the same on all the platforms? So, <clears throat> first thing is first is I need to start with a test. The testing infrastructure is in inside the repository. So first of all, I'm going to make a simple test for logging. Command stream runner, probably for the log. Hmm. Just leave it like that. We'll uh, figure out. Okay, in CMake scripts that I have, I do have <clears throat> tests. Pretty sure, yeah, catch. Catch is, let me try to bring it up. Uh, this C header. Testing library, very simple. I'll get an example like that. Yeah, test cases, requirements, and a bunch of other cool little things. Now I do have <clears throat> this, because I've used it before, which will automatically pull down late, the latest catch release, I think. Or is it on master? Okay, if it's, uh, what's the difference here? Okay, <clears throat> if C++ is 11 or higher, it'll pull in catch two. If it's less, it'll pull in catch, the first catch version. Get tag, get repository. Hmm. However, it shouldn't do that if it finds catch already inside of, uh, the distribution. Yeah, we're using a local local test catch header found. So if you have a local copy of catch, it'll do that. As well as because it is like a massive actually let me see if I can even find it. First before I delve into that. Okay, um User include <clears throat> Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Catch, 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 catch. Two. It's a large file. Large header file. Uh seventeen and nearly eighteen thousand uh, lines of code. <clears throat> Obviously, I don't need 
this is something that takes a lot of compile uh, time to compile, especially if I have it in a lot of files. So what I do have in um, this, <coughs> oh my God, I'm gonna die, hold on a second. Okay, <clears throat> going back to find this, what it should be able to, to do is it'll, there's the option to make a compiled version. So uh, actually it probably says here, if this option is specified, it generates a catch target as a library with mostly pre, where it mostly pre-compiles because according to the tutorial, I believe, you need to have I say yeah, you need to have this defined in one file. What I'm going what what I do is I have this file like be a separate library hiding elsewhere <clears throat> that you link into. So that kind of speeds up the compilation of the other units because you don't have to have this guy in like every sub library, every sub um, executable for testing. So <clears throat> it's uh man, I am not having a good a good day, am I? Okay, so we have this. We'll figure it out in a second. I want to add auxiliary targets. Um, if build tests, and if that. Then we'll add a subdirectory. Test. And inside of here, it'll be set up. We need to enable testing. See, make. Um, yeah, we'll just do an executable real fast. Test. Oh, it'll always be like test underscore something as a prefix. Same thing with the examples. The example underscore this, so that uh, when I'm trying to make, I can just hit you know type make test and tab and find all the uh, options available. Like right now, I can do this CCOV. No, but I don't have code coverage on. But if I did make CCOV tab all of the targets drop. <clears throat> um, hmm. Target link libraries, test foe, private foe. Obviously, it'll be cache in a second as well. Do I have, I don't even, I don't even have the option available yet. This will be a global option, so I'll put it up here somewhere. I have one for examples. Build tests. Do, do, do. There we go, build tests. Okay, it can't quite find it. It's unfortunate. Do I not have, no, I do have it, I, I just. Oh, of course, I haven't even added the, uh, 
Um, Pair catch. <laughs> Don't really need anything else. I don't think I'll actually need anything else for this. Let me just double check. Is there any global options required? No. See, this will find catch and stuff anyways. And it's put into the catch target. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't actually need it as a separate. I can just keep this in miscellaneous. Uh, that's that. And then down in the catch area. Uh, but I need to prepare, prepare catch. It's always going to be compiled. Catch. I'm not going to force clone and I'm not going to force catch one. So yeah, <clears throat> local catch header detected at there. So now it's going to actually, ooh. Oh yeah, the pre-compilation. See if, <laughs> If I didn't have this definition, this pre-compiled version of catch, it would take like how long does it take to, to compile catch by itself? And this would be for like every uh, test catch test executable I would have. It'd be nine seconds. Jeez. So I'd rather have the 10, 9, 10 seconds once and then more cheap link than 9 to 10 seconds per application that defines uh, the uh, required header. Catch main, catch config main. Much easier, much faster. Okay, so now he's pulling in catch. Um, I don't really need anything else for this, do I? So, do, 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 do. Do a test case. Whatever. Whatever. True. Does that work? Probably not. Uh, it does. Test. Oh, um, another thing I actually require for this. Probably going to want to have target code coverage, right? Like with the base application. But I'm pretty sure I need a bit more than that. Options, options, options. Here we are. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Actually, one thing I do want to make sure is that if I um, I want that to run at least. So I'm pretty sure right now CCLB uh, test. Oh, first of all, I yes. Jeez, I hate how I just kind of jump around and stuff. Target code coverage test foe. It's part of the auto target, part of the all target. Objects for executables only if the provided targets are shared libraries, adds coverage to the output. Really? Uh, open that up. Test 
Bam. Okay, right now it's just that. I mean, of course, that's running all the items. So I need to add objects. Can I just add all the objects it pulls in? No, I don't really want to do that, do I? Okay. There we go. Now it's pulling in <laughs> coverage information for everything else, and the only thing it's doing is running uh, that and this, which is just the instance function, nothing else. But it's a start. I gotta really look at that. I don't know if I want to like have to always manually like. Okay, what happens if I say like, oh, I want to do catch? How does that work? It doesn't. Okay, okay. I can work with that. And it's only for uh, shared objects, is it? And actually, okay, I probably need to exclude because I don't want to actually include like the test file itself because I know that's running. Probably. What I'm interested in is running the library, not the test. Well, I'm run interested in running the test, but what I'm interested in for code coverage isn't the tests. Okay, so I'll need to like exclude. Objects that, and then we'll have the exclude list after. Which will be uh, regex of. Just, okay, everything in the test directory. Okay. And that'll just leave the headers and the sources, but not the actual app application, right? If I put that back out, it's then going to have the file back. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I will probably want is something is a few more useful tests right now. Let's see for a hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Do I want to do on a per category basis? Log categories, dot CPP, or do I just put it in a subdirect? I'm just put it in the subdirectory, right? I mean, how do I lay it out in source? Let's bring this a little bit closer, actually. No, I, yeah, I do have a um, subdirectory. So I'll just do the exact, I'll just mirror it right here. I 
I really don't think this is going to be changing that much now. Actually, I don't want to do that, do I? Maybe? This is not even a virtual. Okay, so I can just test this by itself. Yeah, yeah. Test case. Leave a log category. Put the tags. needs to be inherited. We can still have that, okay. You know what, I'm just gonna do that, just do define. Runtime default level of all, compile level of all. Just make sure that it does what I want it to do. Ah, yes. Oh, almost. Uh, there's no file there. Oh, yeah, it's just unused, but it does work. Hmm. Acquire test category. Oh, I can only test this once. Because it's an, it is a singleton, so I can't reset it. Changing it. There's nothing I actually require on that one. Hmm. 
Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. Not that there's much to be done here, but it's there. Okay, let's get a few more things and then we'll work on the continuous integration side. Um, what else do I need? Is anything to do with level? Not really, I mean, I could test that, but that's kind of pointless. Logger, sync. Logger and sync kind of go together. Which really does mean that these guys can probably be together. I don't need to actually split them up. Do that later. Okay, you know what? I'll, I will just put this together. One. No point in actually splitting up too much. Especially for such a small thing. So then we'll have a couple of uh, items. Testing of compilation level. Um... Hmm. Actually, no, this, this would actually probably fit here. Okay, so we got different compile levels. Gonna do error info. accepts all but it just um, takes fatal warning and then info category log of fatal category <clears throat> We do these and then we require to find uh, the last log. Hmm. Yeah, 
in the register sync. We need a sync type. Um, like this almost but what we're just interested in is the last log. So we've got a test sync, we're going to register that sync. going to deregister it when you leave. That must equal what fatal, right? log last log level that makes a bit more sense And if I was to put something else, it would fail, right? Yes. Do the same thing for the others. Just uh, very good. It's getting better. Yeah, the only thing that's not working is that because that's not really the point of this area. Uh, log runtime log levels. Uh, 
So we'll just kind of work on the verbose category since that's already there. No, we'll make a new one just for this, just to be sure in case I accidentally try to delete it or change this later. All in all. Down to verbose or is test sync dot um, um, max level. Like that. We do almost the same thing for the others, right? Fatal warning. Really? Oh, because it's the category. Okay, well that didn't quite work out how I was hoping. Oh yes. Fatal, fatal, warning, warning. Verbose, verbose. Still didn't work. One, two, seven, this one. Let's um, create a debug. Yes, I know it's UDB. It's the only one I'm using. No, it's not even in here. It's, it's in like build libs. One fifteen now also failed. Really? Okay, we're just gonna see what's going on. Okay, test sync right now has <clears throat> whatever that is. So the instance can I actually see that no I can't. I can see this though. Mm hmm No. No, no. What? It's letting it through regardless right now. Ooh, yeah, see, I just found a bug. 
just by just just by doing these simple tests. I was so focused on the comp compilation side, I completely forgot uh, forgot about the runtime. Test, test, test. All right, log, logger. It's not even testing before it passes things through. What it should do is just before this, well, it, it just asks, you know, if p if uh, level is greater than the log level, p category max level, then it just doesn't even go in any further. It just returns. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to change this to be like, okay, it doesn't even care. Now it works. Actually, I should probably still get check out dash B test CI. Get rid of the empty file. I'll leave that as a good baseline for test for log category anyways. So we've got build tests, we bring in catch, we also compile it locally, we have build tests, that goes into the test folder, we have the executable definition. We do not have this file anymore. And it's compiled, yeah. We have the one file with a bunch of simple tests. And this doesn't even exist anymore either. Just within 72 characters. I'll take that. Uh, stick that up. So.
that's the basic for a test. Now I need to be able to stick it on up to, I need a, a continuous integration. I need to, when I push it up, I need it tested on all platforms I have available. So that begins with, shrink all that down. In the root directory, I use GitLab. So, uh, okay. We've got a global section which will define like uh, stages to be platform tests. Basic platforms. Whatever, we'll just, ah, platforms. Call it that. Uh, we have variables. Now there is, um, because I do have a sub module, I have git sub module strategy recursive. And then there's the in C make C test. So we'll make test. I don't have a rule to make tests. Ooh, I need to do that. C make has functionality by default. It allows you to be able to basically run uh, just make test or C test. There's no configuration found. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Add test. It'll be test. So. Name and command. Okay, name is that. That's the target. And the command is literally. Wait. A test called name. The test name may not contain spaces, quotes, or other characters. Command is the test command line. Okay, so the other way around. We'll just say it's like. Um, Like that. Command. Mm. Do I need it at a lower level? Maybe I need this in like the root as well. Or rather need to have this in root. Put it with the options. There we go. I don't want it, I probably want it like uh, way down here instead. Um, 
fix that up. Squash them together. So it's only together in the one. Wonderful. I won't force push quite yet. Okay, so now we have C test again. C test. Put. You know what? Um, hmm. I don't know. Come on. Okay, fine. Uh, you. That's what I'm thinking of. The latest. Output on failure, output anything output by test that output program if the test should fail. Okay. So it's a one. images on I I'll figure that out in a second let's just say it will be Compilers. I will use a tag. MD64 will just save the moment. It has no dependencies. It's not dependent on any previous. Um, stages or runs. I, I don't know what these are called. So you got stages, then you got individual jobs. Jobs, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, when we're building, it's just preset maker. Always put in a subdirectory. Keep it clean. I use Ninja by default across all platforms. These things, these like okay. It'll do the same thing, but it'll be for Clang. By default, these will be static libraries. That's fine. Okay, 
I need a new bloody window. New instance, please. New folder. I'm just doing this off screen. That. Create a new license. Okay, and then for reference, going up. Open up another one for a new directory. Uh, Docker build images. Okay, so bam. We are going to have Fedora. I have a Docker file inside of there. We're going to run, we're going to build from an older image I already have, build for Fedora which always has Docker run T. I'm sorry, what? It couldn't find it, but it was already here. Which already has GCC and a bunch of other items. GCC has Conan that I don't even use anymore. Hmm. So what I want to do is when I, since this, I already have this, and this also has the analysis tools, such as the sanitizers, I'm also going to want to, so all I need to do is install the libraries I need on top of this. Uh, so for our new Fedora, it's DNF. What do we need? For now we need GLFW. Okay, you know what? Rerun that. Let it just download everything and then just stop, I guess. Just be real slow. Just want to have a repository mess. Come on, guys. How much freaking stuff do I need to download to freaking for a package manager? Just to use one, just the get. Okay, I'm just going to assume it's like Devel. Okay, no, don't do any of that. No. Yeah, it is just that. Um, <laughs> format. Uh, yes, format devel. So FMT is four G. What else do I use? Catch.
Yes, there is one. I do Vulcan. It's Mesa Vulcan. I just need Vulcan. Um, hmm, there's no Devel thing for this. Headers, tools, loader, validation layers. Validation lever, layers Devel. Is there like just a hidden kind of? Yes, there is, which includes all of this stuff together. Okay, as a package group instead. anything else I want not at the moment so I'm gonna have this build dash T um, uh, CD into the directory first have that running off in the side since that takes this has to take for absolutely ever Let's double check this what we've got um, I'll tr it's, um, I can probably split this up into template type. Visual tests. No, okay, I can say like non visual platform tests. Right? Because I'm going to have a. Mm, no. No, no, no. Just platform tests, which will include both non visual and visual later on. It's just platform tests. Oh, I don't even have stage on these guys. Um, we'll take tags. Dependency. Actually, these three guys can just all come along. Since they're basically shared. that and that should be a template these guys this will be a reapply to these two and I could probably reuse this for like all the Unix ones because this shouldn't really change well it might ah later though how's that build image still downloading Hmm. Oh yes, 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 there'll be something I want to do. See, this is static. Make a copy for shared, for shared binaries. 
And then we'll have an extra variable for CMake options. HD build shared libs equals on. So this will get pasted onto the end of this. So for the ones without it, it'll be static. But the ones with this will be shared libraries or binaries to be linked in. How's that? Okay. It's done. Let's make sure the test machine it would be linked in is this one. Okay, uh, let's before I actually put it in, I'm just going to stick it into the linter to make sure it actually would run. Okay, can I just do this in like a pipelines, CI linter, or CI lint, paste it in, validate. It would appear to work. Okay. Fedora. Now we push that up and watch as fireworks just detonate. Let's uh, Pipelines running. Okay. Whoops. Nope. Nothing else. We're just doing this stuff. Very basic. Oh, geez. It actually. Oh, right. It is already done in. 36 seconds. Very nice. Very quick. Same thing for shared. Yes, no. The answer is yes. And imagine the same thing would happen for the others. Clang is fine. Okay, well, I'm just going to assume that they're going to work. So I'm just going to slightly reword the last thing. Distrib 
distribution. that's kind of that let's see yeah they all tested uh, ran fine things compile uh, complaining about the unlikely but yeah did I just not push it oh, I didn't push it push it And then there's a new job. So yeah, that's that was actually pretty okay. That's tests and basic CI. All right, I'll call it there for the moment. Then I guess uh, probably offline I'll add some more tests, boring old tests, and some more jobs for more uh, systems distributions. Maybe Windows and Mac too.